right, this is Commissioner Whiteman speaking, and before we begin, I want to make sure who we have on the line, and then we'll deal with some housekeeping matters. Sally, the Child Support Agency attorney, are you there? Yes. Uh, are you there? Yes. Already said yes. Already said yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Thank We're you. We're going in and out. Thank you. Um, Ms. Shop, uh, the council, are you there? Good morning, Your Honor. Yes. Thank you. And Ms. Uh, yes, I am. Thank you. Uh, housekeeping matter, Ms. Shop, are you still, you, according to our system, you are still attorney of record. Are you, uh, did you submit a substitution? Are you aware of today's hearing? Uh, I wasn't aware of today's hearing. I believe I, I filed a substitution of attorney, but I'm fine to stay on the line for the purpose of the hearing this morning. All right. Uh, if you could bring me up to speed as to what it's about, that would be helpful. Uh, it, it, it's, just a, it's just a motion to modify child support. You were at the uh, you were at council present yes. at the last hearing when the current order was set. And yes. I'm going to do. I have to give my general advisement first, and then of course you can just let me know. Uh, the, the agency attorney will be presenting all the information for their proposal, and then each parent, of course, will have an opportunity to address the court. But before we begin, I need to give a general advisement. I am the commissioner assigned to hear all cases in this department. Under California law, Family Code Section 4251B, I am required to act and will be acting as a temporary judge in this case unless you make an objection on the record before I hear your case. I am the regularly assigned bench officer in this department. As I stated, I'd like the agency attorney to go first. They will give a proposal. It is a proposal only, and then each parent will have an opportunity to address the court. Ms. Baselli? Yes, Your Honor, this is a motion to modify. The current order is $796 per month for one minor child. Um, I will start with father's figures. I have, he was receiving unemployment benefits um, in the amount of $724 per month. Uh, at this time, there's a 0% timeshare. On mother's side, from her pay stub, she grosses $3,391 before taxes. Mary, Mary filing joint three, she has union dues of $47 per month and a health insurance premium of $300 per month. Based on this information, the proposed guideline is a low range between $73 to $181 per month. All right, this is just a proposal. Uh, I'm going to start with father first. Uh, is the information, sir, that the agency described accurate at this time to the best of your knowledge no i i thought i heard a no could you um, yeah you heard a no i don't know yes you heard a no 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 okay and what's not accurate about that sir um the uh the unemployment amount it's only 124. okay, okay are you getting 124 per week yeah Okay, 124 per week times 52 weeks divided by 12. It is, can't be for 52 uh, weeks. It's only, the, it's on. only valid taking, until 1231. Are they taking out 124 is what you actually get after they take out a, a small percentage for child support? No. 124 is what I get, period. And it's not for a year. It's only for six months. Okay, ho hold on. So if you're getting the 124, Ms. Baselli, is the agency receiving unemployment benefit payments? Um, we did receive unemployment in August. And what, I have, can you I have tell that. me what amounts you're receiving? Because I can work backwards to figure out what his weekly benefit actually is. Well, I also have a, a, a payment that he provided showing he's getting $167 as a weekly amount. 167, yeah. Okay, so 167. It's 124 after the garnishment for um, oh, child support. Hold on, sir. 167 times 52 weeks divided by 12. This is just to get a monthly average. I'm not. Although, hold on, hold on, but time. actually, let's let's that is let's month, let's be realistic. A average of one. Of your honor, your months. honor, you're wasting time. Let's be realistic. I misspoke. Currently, I'm not receiving unemployment, so my income is zero. Okay, but so we're going to take it one step at a time. 
you were receiving unemployment benefits, and when you were receiving them, the monthly average was seven twenty four. That's that because of the pandemic assistance. So that that is not that is not a normal circumstance. One sixty seven a week is the equivalent of seven twenty four per month because there are more than four weeks in a month. There's four point three weeks in a month on average. I understand that. Do you understand now, that I'm not receiving that we're amount? We're going to talk about the time, sir. We're going to talk about when you were receiving it next. When did you stop receiving unemployment, sir? Uh, the child support agency should know. I'm not asking the agency. I'm asking you. Well, they would be the ones who would know because they would. They just stated when they received that last payment, and that would be it because okay, it's automatic. Sir, if you're not going to cooperate, I will go by whatever evidence I hear otherwise. The I'm evidence is. I just stated it. I just stated the evidence. The child support agency just stated it. The lawyer representing me stated it. It is the last time child support uh, payments were received. That is the last time that I received unemployment benefits. It's a simple concept. They just sir, stated it. My lawyer sir, stated it. Sir, if you can please lower your voice and lower your tone. Well, you can't hear shit, right? If you don't lower your voice, I unfortunately will have to cut you off and I will proceed without you. There is no lawyer representing you. Ms. Schott, you represent Ms. Howard. And that's a problem as well. I want to make that record clear. And I want to make that record clear as well. does not represent anyone. Now, I would... I would like to swear the parties in. I need both of you to raise your right hand and tell me your right hand is raised. Mr. I'm confused with the procedures at this point in time because what is the... Okay, you're, you're welcome, sir, to hang up. I'm asking right. for clarification. Uh, let's actually move on to the mother. There were the statements mother. made outside of oath. I am simply Mr. asking for clarification. Accurate to the best of your knowledge? Uh, yes, ma'am. All right. Um, it, with regard to the proposal, Ms. Buscelli, does the agency, well, actually, let me check with the father, since I don't think he's hung up, hung up yet. Sir, are you still there? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you to raise your right hand, please, and tell me your right hand is raised. Again, I need clarification as there were statements made outside of oath. So was that taken, you know, how are you taking that then? That's why I'm placing everyone under oath, so that we can take testimony. So, did you ask for testimony beforehand? I need to have him identify for the record. Sir, can you please raise your right hand and tell me your right hand is raised? I need to understand if you are following judicial procedure or not. Yes. So, why was, so what was the purpose of asking the child support agency for information if that information was not given under oath? Sir, the information has already been provided by the agency previously, and it's in attached to its motion. And then you've asked me to its accuracy. Uh, 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 unemployment benefits and a proposal that was submitted actually under penalty of perjury with the motion. Now, yes. I would like to, and I'm happy to get testimony from all three sides, the agency, the father, and the mother, because we can start this uh, and use just what's under oath. Sir, please raise your right hand and tell me your right hand is raised. Oh, so you're saying, it seems as if what you're saying is that you were trying to get information that wasn't under oath for some unknown reason then? No, that's incorrect. The way this court proceeds, if no one has any objection to the information in the calculation presented, there's no need to take, uh, to, if there's no objection. Now that I understand you do not agree and you object, I actually will be taking everything under oath. Okay. Sir, is your right hand raised? Yes. Yes, thank you. Mother, is your right hand raised? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Both of you do solemnly state under penalty of perjury that the evidence you shall give in this matter shall be a truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Thank you, sir. Oh, that was me. No, I, I, I need mother. a response, mother. I'm oh, asking okay. mother. I need to hear an audible response from him. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, Ms. Baselli from the uh, agency attorney, can you also raise your right hand, please? Yes. Thank you. Did you solemnly state under penalty of perjury that the evidence you shall give in this matter shall be a truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Baselli, can you please represent your information? Okay. 
my father's side, I had his unemployment income at $724 per month. The last time we received unemployment for father was in August. I have mother's income at $3,391 per month, gross before taxes, verified through pay stubs. She also has union dues of $47 per month and a health insurance premium of $300 per month. And at this time, there is a 0% timeshare, and both parties agree to that. Based on this that information, true. the proposed guideline is a low range between $73 to $181 per month. Thank you. Sir, the information that was used for this calculation is that accurate to the best of your knowledge? No. And what is inaccurate at this time? There are several things. How do you want them stated? One by one. Uh, first, the salary is incorrect. Um, like I said, I'm not receiving unemployment at this time, and I haven't since whatever would be the last payment that they received from garnishment. Okay. To your personal knowledge, do you recall when you received the last unemployment check i recall what was said by the agency i don't know if you don't but that was august some at some point okay and why do you know why the unemployment benefits stopped no did you get notice from the unemployment department no i'm, I'm still currently investigating what's going on and have you been in touch with the unemployment department recently i have tried I, right now because of my health condition um, is between unemployment and disability, and as well as I don't know, um, I have no idea what, what is, is coming ahead for the next couple months. So you have not received any notification from the unemployment department in the last two months? Um, I can't say the last two months. I don't, I, what do you mean by notification? Because you're being unclear. Any notices, any, any mail from the unemployment department? Uh, there, there's mail that, uh, the last time I received a, uh, uh, what do you call it, verify for benefits was sometime in August. I don't uh, know why we keep going around and around. When you receive that verification of benefits, is that for, for you to simply sign and send back in? Yes. Basically, because I don't, I don't, I, it feels as if we're living in some alternate reality. The pandemic ended, those assistance ended. For some reason, also my... Uh, benefits ended at that time. I have not been able to reach the unemployment office. There are many news stories about the fact that it's difficult to reach them as well, as well as the fact because of my health condition um, and working with someone at the hospital, it seems as if it'd be better for me to get on disability, but the process has been somewhat slow. Okay. Has the doctor told you you are unable to work? You, your yes. physical abilities have been yes. diminished so that you cannot work? Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Yes. No? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. So, um, if you are claiming that you are unable to work due to a medical condition, uh, you will need to provide proof of that through a medical verification form signed by your doctor. If I gave you time to do that, would you be able to do that? I, what, my, what I really don't understand is why the agency did not provide that information previously. They've been informed of because this since I was June. unaware, I, I, Ms. Boselli, were you aware that he was claiming he is unable to work due to a medical condition? Um, I am not personally aware of that, but he might have spoken to somebody here. Okay, it is not the agency's obligation to automatically send that out to you. That happens at these hearings. No, I understand that, so, but sir, it's just a, it's another example of how they're not doing their job. It's another example of how they're not doing their job. I'm going to end this proceeding at this time. Um, you'll get a copy of today's order in the mail. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.